In our top story, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says Singapore's language policy remains sound and it's not pragmatic to give Chinese dialects wider use or expect young Singaporeans to master it on top of English and Mandarin. Mr Lee said this at the launch of the Speak Mandarin campaign now in its 35th year. After more than 30 years of the Speak Mandarin campaign, most young Singaporean Chinese can speak some Mandarin. With the language now established, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, who delivered his speech in Mandarin, says some feel it's time to allow dialects to be used more widely. Expecting young people to master English, Mandarin and dialects all at the same time is a tremendous challenge for most and could affect Singaporeans' proficiency in English and Mandarin. This is a huge price to pay, Mr Lee said. In Singapore. Still, there's room for dialects in Singapore, and the government is prepared to use them under special circumstances, Mr Lee said. Earlier this year, authorities produced video clips about the Pioneer Generation package in Hokkien, Teochew and Cantonese, dialects spoken by many elderly Singaporeans. Former Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew launched the Speak Mandarin campaign in 1979, a time when Mandarin was almost a foreign language for most Chinese people who spoke different dialects. Mandarin was chosen as the common language so that the different groups could come together. 35 years on, the work is far from over. We have already overcome the first step of speak less dialect. So the next step, of course, if you ask me for the challenges, is to speak much more better Mandarin, purer Mandarin, without adulteration of, you know, Malay, English word, or some other so-called where the vocab is not good enough. Campaign leaders say they'll need to keep Singaporeans talking because it gets better with use. That's the campaign slogan for the year.